trying to film a video downtown, there's a lot of tourists as well, and you have to contend with that noise, like them. <laughs> so for nine years in a row, Travel and Leisure magazine has voted Charleston the number one city in America, and we just dropped off to number two after 10 years at number one with Condé Nast. So what's it really like living where people vacation? Well, today we're gonna talk about the good and the bad. So let's go. What's up everyone and welcome back. As always, I'm your favorite YouTubing Charleston realtor, Bill Olson, and today, we're talking about what it's like to live here where people vacation. And is it for you? I personally think it's pretty sweet, but there are some things that you need to consider when you're moving to a vacation spot. Now, one of the great things about it is you really don't have to go anywhere for anything and people love to come visit. I know since my wife and I have moved here, we always have friends and family that wanna come here instead of us going other places. Now. This is really great, but sometimes you do just wanna get out. So that is one thing to consider when moving to a vacation spot. One of the biggest things that you do need to consider, but not be too concerned about, is the, the tourist traffic. You know, yeah, people are gonna tell you we have some bad traffic around here for the size of our city. Yes, it's not that bad, but when it comes to tourist traffic in the summer, you know that is something that you should be aware of, but unless you're gonna live right here in downtown or at one of the beaches where we do see the tourists, then it's not something to be too concerned about. Now, most of the people here do live out in the suburbs that are less exciting to the tourists, so you're not gonna see as much foot traffic or car traffic, but coming downtown, that's where you're gonna see some slower traffic and you might even get stuck behind a horse-drawn carriage that can make you late for just about anything. So speaking of downtown, while we're here, um, we're in front of Rainbow Row, which is one of the main tourist attractions downtown. But something you need to note is that not everyone goes downtown all the time. Like you really don't have a need to be here every day, week, sometimes even a month especially in the summer season when you've got a lot more traffic, whether it be mopeds or people to deal with to just kind of get where you need to be. I know for my family and I, we maybe come downtown every couple months. And even for that, it's for a specific purpose, whether we're going to the aquarium, the children's museum, to a park, or just to celebrate an occasion to go out to dinner. So speaking of restaurants downtown, being a great tourist destination, what comes along with that is some amazing food. But with that also comes some very high prices for the food, which is another reason why we don't come downtown that often to eat. Now there are some amazing restaurants that you can find in the outskirts, in the less touristy places. So if you're moving here, I highly suggest you find those restaurants in your neighborhood, they're all gonna be locally owned. They're gonna be just as good as downtown, but a fraction of the cost. Another amazing benefit of living where people vacation is that we have a beach. Well, we have like six beaches, but that is such a great perk for during the summer of something to do. But you also have to be aware that our beaches are the barrier islands, so they get incredibly busy and we get back into that traffic thing over the summer to get there. There's a one lane in and one lane out to the beaches. So while you have access to some of the most amazing beaches on the East Coast, you do have to be aware that you're sharing them with not only the locals, but all the tourists as well during the summer and getting there. Lastly, I wanna talk about all the amazing things there are to do here in Charleston. And it's not just coming down here and looking at the water or going to the beaches. I'm talking about the events that happen here that is a great perk of living here. We have the Food and Wine Festival, which is world renowned. We have the Spoleto Festival, which takes place over a few weeks every spring and brings artists and musicians from around the world right here to Charleston. 
And another great thing is SEWI, the Southeastern Wildlife Exposition, which brings people in from all over the place. So you never have a shortage of events or things going on if you live here in Charleston. So you can take all that into consideration to see if living where people vacation is right for you. So if you wanna move into a tourist district or anywhere in the greater Charleston area, I would love to be your realtor of choice. So let me know and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.